How to install Kling AI and start using it. Okay, typing, go to the first link. Start for free. Okay, scroll all the way down and click download desktop. Download for Windows, Kling setup. Okay, download is complete, so let's double click on the installation file. Only for me, install Franklin. Okay, now we're here. Uh, first, you need to sign in or sign up. So for sign up, you can use, you know, Google or your email and password. I already have an account, so I'm gonna click sign in, connect with Google, use my account, continue. Yes, open thing. Here we are. Yep, yeah, I'm a, let's say video editor. Fine. Now, first thing you can do is connect your YouTube with your account. Again, we want to open Kling again. Now Kling is connected with your YouTube. And there's an option to generate ideas. Okay, looks pretty nice. This is just an extra feature you could use to get some ideas for videos. But let's get into the real program, what we want to do here. So Kling AI is really simple to use. You simply drop a file right here. For example, let me find something here. So this is an on-screen recording I recently made just before this one. And we're gonna call this thumbnail tutorial edit. Language is English and the total length is 46 minutes. Click continue. If you have a script for the video, click here and simply paste it in. It's gonna help to create the transcription with less editing to do afterwards. I don't have it for this one, so I go back and press continue. Now you can choose if you want to cut silences, if you want to cut bad takes, and if you want to add jump cut zooms, like Workling AI will automatically add some clips where the zoom is bigger and then back to normal. For this video, I don't want to use that because it's an on-screen recording. I typically don't like to use the remove audio noise because it's eating some of my words. So I only need to use the first two ones. When you're ready, click enhance and edit. This process obviously takes a while, especially for a longer video, like 46 minutes, but it's a real time saver because instead of manually going in to cut out the bad takes, to cut out the silences, it can take hours for a long video. And with this, it's basically doing it for me and I can save hours per week from editing videos. It's absolutely worth the price. I'm currently paying $15 per month to use it. And for the time that it's saving, it's completely worth it. I also added my referral link in the description if you want to buy it. Okay, now it's ready. So we can go in and see if we have an image. Okay, so this is a part of a new tutorial I was making for YouTube about thumbnail design. And here on the left, you see all the transcription from the beginning. So in a long video like this, there's a lot of stuff going on, right? So how do you use it? If you want to cut something out, you simply use the scissors to cut the line and it's cut. Or simply click it again and it's uncut. If you want to cut one specific word, you double click on that, click cut. Or if you want to change the transcription, you can correct it from here, apply. This is super easy to use. If we go down to the timeline here, you can start play. Um, okay, all the first part is just me preparing to record. So, so everything in the beginning, I don't need any of that. So I can simply go in and cut this line. So it starts from here and we can start listening. I'm not gonna go through the whole 46 minutes here, but you get the idea. Many of the lines here are because, because the AI recognizes that they are either bad takes or silent. Next on the timeline, you can adjust the speed. How fast is the playback? I usually use 1.5. Then you have the option to show cuts, parts that AI automatically cut or you cut manually after, and the option to skip cuts. So in the playback, it's going to skip over those parts. If you want to go in and manually split something, you can do it from here. So for example, I split that part. Now I can either cut this side or cut this side. And also control Z, we can go back to undo the split. Another option here, let me turn off my camera for a second. Another option here is the pace that decides how tight cuts it's making. The shorter the cut, the more pauses it makes. But if it's 0.4, it starts to be a little artificial, too busy. So I think 0 0.5, 0 0.6 are good options. So I'm gonna use 0 0.6 seconds, especially in this type of video where I'm doing things on the screen and I'm not talking all the time, it can be even longer. Let me put 0 0.8, we can close that. And finally, here's a zoom for the timeline if you want to really go in and see the waveform up close. Once you are done with the editing, you simply go to the export section. And here you have the option to export your timeline directly into video. So it's ready for YouTube or any other social media platform. You can export it as audio. You can separately export the subtitles, the transcription. 
And there's also an option to export the timelines to Premiere, Final Cut Pro, and DaVinci Resolve. Also, the multicam option if you're using a separate device for recording your audio or you have multiple cameras. So, in my case, I've been using Resolve and Resolve Multicam and also the normal video. Now, I'm going to do a time lapse to edit this. And at the final, I'm going to show you how it looks when I bring it to DaVinci Resolve. Okay, this part of the editing is not my whole tutorial, but it is 46 minutes of raw material. And just by spending 15 minutes on it, and thanks to the help of AI, let me show you from here, we cut the total time from 46 minutes to six minutes. So honestly, in my opinion, using this editor or whatever transcription-based editing tool is a real game changer for anyone who's editing videos. It just makes it so much faster. So because we're done here, I can export this. And before I do that, I'm going to show you some more features that I didn't show yet. So from the enhance menu, you can add smart captions if you want. That means it's going to generate smart captions for the whole video. In this case, it's six minutes, so it's going to take a while. Okay. So here you go. It's a nice style. It follows what I'm saying on the screen, what I'm saying on the screen. And now, thanks to the new version, here's a few different styles that you can use to change how it looks. For example, white background, black text, and yellow highlight for easier following. Yeah, this is the default version. Then we have black one and also a blue one. Yeah, these are pretty cool. I like these both. So if I run it now, that will teach you how to do that. Works very nice. But for a long video like this, I'm just going to use the default YouTube automatically generated captions. Another option I can use here is the jump cut zoom to add jump cuts again if you have a large file it's going to take some time but for the tutorial i'm going to just demonstrate how it works so we wait a little bit now i'm going to change it in the middle come on so this is something you don't want to use with an on-screen recording like this because you want to show the whole screen and not zoom in with ai at random moments i start to feel like i made a mistake here okay if you have a video that is four to six minutes long don't use this if you're not ready to wait for a few minutes I thought this is going to be faster. So one thing this tool does is it's automatically zooming into the face that's in the picture. But I think the problem is, as you can see on the screen, I have parts where there's basically three faces and probably it has a hard time figuring out where should it zoom into. So I will definitely not use this. So I'm not going to try this again. Okay, one thing that is nice in Kling AI is that it's automatically saving your progress. So I'm going to close the program in the middle. See that it's actually terminated. It looks like it is. And then open it again. Now back to tutorial. Yep, I should have done it instantly. Okay, the AI assistant is a title and chapter generator. Let's try the title generator. So based on your transcription, it's going to give you some ideas how you can title your video. Grow your YouTube clicks with animated thumbnails using free tools. Bad. Boost your YouTube clicks, animate thumbnails with free tools. Animate thumbnails for more YouTube clicks tools tutorial actually all of them are pretty good i'm gonna take a screen cap of that for a later reference i'm gonna upload the video soon so we can close this and the other option from ai assistant is the chapters generator so again it's gonna go through the transcription and based on what you're talking about it's gonna figure out the topics and put it down into chapters if possible let's see what it does here okay Creating and editing visual effects. Working with masks and text animation. Optimizing text for better engagement. Advanced color and grading techniques. Channel growth and Q&A. Uses chapters. Now if I click on chapters, I can see that it starts with creating. Da -da -da. So for working in the video, you can use this option to jump between different sections. And the nice thing is also that if you want to see from this time code where it is and where the next one starts. This a little easier in DaVinci Resolve or whatever video editor you're using to cut the video to parts or shorts if you want to do it. Okay, that's all. There's also a search function if you want to find something specific in the transcription. Uh, there's an option to change the font. I don't know what this does, to be honest. And there's the option to copy the whole transcription on your clipboard if you want to take it to, if you want to publish as a transcript on your website as a blog post or something, something like that, for example. Okay, we are ready to export. So I'm going to click here and export it as a video. Another option is to export it as a timeline. 
but that means it's cut into 450 short clips. Just to make my job easier, I'm simply gonna export it as one single video. I'm gonna call this part two because it's actually the part two of the video. Save. And now you will see that it's exporting the media. Uh, and after a quick time lapse, at the final, I'm gonna show you how it looks in DaVinci Resolve, where you see the final result. Finally, it's ready. Okay, let's go. Close this. One thing I forgot to mention is from the time lapse. Sometimes Kling AI cuts the last syllables of your words. So if you notice that, you can see just manually go in to the end of the clip and stretch it longer. And this way you can make sure that it doesn't cut the endings of your words. It doesn't happen often, but it happens often enough. Pay attention to it. Okay, we can close this. Where was the file? In the thumbnail folder. Okay, let's close this. Open DaVinci or whatever CapCut or Heat Film editor you're using. Let's open the project that we're working on. Now we can go in and drop in on the desktop. Thumbnail tutorial edit part two. We drop it here. Bring it in the timeline. The first thing I'm gonna do is right click on the audio and click normalize audio levels. So we get it a little higher. Okay, these parts are <coughs> loud. Where I'm playing the video, where I'm playing the video, where I'm playing the video, like Inception. Okay, I can manually adjust it later, but let's see how the video looks like. So last thing we want to do. Okay, I need to hide my webcam because obviously it's again on top of the other thing. So don't be confused. That's the previous video. That's me talking about the tutorial. So let's watch that for 20 seconds so you see how it's how clean I cut my tutorial video. Okay, is to create this fade out effect here. I think this is way. And yes, I'm gonna use uh, double speed to see what happens faster. I don't have patience to wait and hear whatever I'm saying. Okay, let's go. Open one of the images we were using before. Let's take the transparent one. Now select the image we're control and clicking on the thumbnail. Inverse the selection. I control shift I. And now we're going to press alt backspace to make it black. Then we inverse it again. Press backspace, delete, center. Let's control D to select the transform tool. And now we make it a bigger than the original. Then we want to take the eraser, change the hardness to zero. Okay, I'm really happy how it looks like. So I'm using Kling AI almost for every video that I'm making because it saves me hours of editing and it's completely worth the price. <laughs> now when I'm shooting this tutorial, it's $15 per month and they are continuing to improve the software, add more features to it. So I don't see any reason why I would stop paying for it because my hour is worth more than $15 and in one month, it's probably saving me more than five hours easily. So I definitely recommend to check it out. There's also other options available and I have the link in the description, my referral link, if you want to use that to test out Kling AI and also get one free extra credit. Okay, thank you for watching. And if you have any more questions about Clean AI or how it works or the workflow from the AI editor to DaVinci, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to help you out. And of course, also watch the next video because these topics are going to help you grow on YouTube and make money and become successful on social media.